Let's take a look at use case number two, improving threat and vulnerability management. For this, I am going to open the OT Risk Management dashboard. OT Risk Management considers all attack paths within an organization's environment to identify and prioritize risks and vulnerabilities. Attack path modeling is a key differentiator for Darktrace's CPS protection platform. So I'll return to this in a future section. However, the result is a contextual scoring of risks based on vulnerability, exploitability, architecture, connection patterns, attack paths, modeling of possible remediation actions, and business mission impact. To put it a different way, Darktrace is building a variety of contextual data from the organization, such as active devices, CVEs, connections between assets, and broader risk scoring, to provide a deep understanding of the potential weak spots that exist across a CPS environment. This is then mapped to APT groups using the MITRE for ITS framework. The knowledge is used to inform attack path modeling that shows real-world propagation involving the organization's assets, which could be exploited by a real adversary, unlike other approaches which show hypothetical routes that may not be priorities. These paths let security teams take risk scoring and vulnerability knowledge and see their outcomes in a practical context. This gives validation to the risk assessment process. On the left-hand side, we can see various metrics Darktrace is automatically assigning in real time, impact, damage, weakness, and exposure. In addition, it is assigning difficulty to the attack paths. What this means is if a critical CVE is found to exist on a high difficulty attack path or in a low impact asset, it is deprioritized in exchange for potentially a medium CVE, which is on a high criticality attack path. Because OT risk management is continuously monitoring, meaning it is updated automatically in real time, it makes for ease of administration. Organizations can also track operational risk groups with these custom dashboards to show risk reduction over time. In this example, our water treatment firm has set up operational groups that track all ICS assets and another for their UK site. Organizations can also generate risk reports showing risk reduction over time, their top attack paths, their highest risk assets, top mitigations, and the highest priority CVEs, providing meaningful reporting. And finally, organizations view the highest ranked assets based on their risk scores of impact, exposure, and damage as well as the most vulnerable devices and the most damaging CVEs. This is based on a combination of the CVESS score and the exploitability EPSS score, and also Darktrace's understanding of where that CVE exists, either on critical attack paths or on high impact assets. The adversary tab on the left-hand side takes us to the mitigation advisory page a prioritized list of remediation guidance, including alternative compensating controls. Some of the guidance may be the result of unsecure application usage and default passwords. Each mitigation contains guidance and recommended action with a link to the MITRE attack framework mitigation advice. Comments and mitigation actions provide traceability of actions taken. If a mitigation is ignored, OT risk management automatically retrains based on the new information to recommend alternatives of compensating controls. This means organizations can accept risk because they know a change cannot be made and instead presented with alternatives that may be able to mitigate that same risk. Workflows can be aided with custom integrations, such as with the provision of ticketing mechanisms to track actions. The techniques advisory offers a prioritized list of attack techniques that have built the attack paths and finally, the APT Group Advisory provides a dashboard aligned with the MITRE attack framework. The advisory maps organizations' risks to the TTPs from advisories. So in this example, the organization has a median likelihood of being targeted based upon their geographic location and their sector. But the likelihood of success is relatively low based upon the preferred TTPs of that attack group and the existing controls that are present in this organization. Instead, the highest risk APT is Cleaver Group. While this is a low likelihood of being targeted, the likelihood of success is very high 
because their preferred TTPs are likely to be successful when targeting this organization. For most organizations in CPS, patching vulnerabilities is one of the most effective ways to reduce risk. I can search all CVEs using the Queries tab. The saved queries conditions when searching for vulnerabilities or for identities, accounts, and devices improves the overall digital experience. Right now, I'm going to search for all CVEs. This yields a list of prioritized known exploited CVEs calculated using the Dartrace Vulnerability Score. The Dartrace Vulnerability Score is a combination of CVSS score and EPSS, so Open Source Intelligence, alongside Dartrace's unique understanding of where the CVE sits within critical attack paths and vulnerable devices. A potential cost of exploit is calculated for each vulnerability by mapping the financial profile of assets to productivity, regulatory, and reputational impact. Links are provided to source references such as NIST and MITRE, as well as the known exploit vulnerabilities from catalog from CISA. And that allows us to get recommended action. Actions are also traceable by comments or by integrations to ticketing solutions. So in this use case for improving threat and vulnerability management, we have seen how our water treatment firm has been able to identify the greatest risks of their CPS environment. These aren't hypothetical risks, but risks deducted from understanding risk as it exists today within the organization. The result is that they implement a more informed and structured strategy to risk and vulnerability management. Thank you.